G'day everyone, Brent Hodgkins here at Brew The Music with another unboxing video. Today we're going to be looking at a Fender Aerodyne bass guitar that just arrived this morning. Um, she is here and we will be unboxing that and having a quick, quick look at it. Uh, my good friend and bandmate Todd Cook said um, my knife was pretty ordinary that I'd been using so uh, he's encouraged me to step step up my game and uh, use a proper knife so we'll see uh, how that works for us we'll try not to take off a limb in the process <laughs> I'll just hack into it with that <laughs> uh, might be a bit of overkill but it makes it more fun <laughs> all right so that made short work of that We've got uh, plenty of bubble wrap, always good. Now it didn't come with a hard case, so I've actually pre-ordered a generic hard case. Sorry for ducking out there. So I've just ordered a hard case that I've got ready to go for it there. But they have shipped it in a soft case. Oh my god broke the headstock off trying to get it out um, and they put extra bubble wrap around the body so that, that's a great job of packing I appreciate that and so I ordered this a couple of weeks back and it was uh, estimated to arrive on the 4th of May and it's now the 11th so it's uh, a little later than expected but that's all right straight away we've got this <laughs> strap thrown in <laughs> with cats on it oh, I love that that's going to stay on this base I think <laughs> I like weird awesome nice little bonus what else we got a regular black strap and where did I buy this one I bought, bought this one on eBay and um I think they, they just look fantastic and I wanted to have a new base in the studio uh, just to try out different different bass, different tones and I um, saw this one for a pretty good price it's not brand new, it's second hand uh, look at that, they just look classy as I love the look of these bases so it is a Fender Aerodyne put that knife somewhere, I'm not going to sit on it and Hack a cheek off. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Uh, this is great. So there is a little bit of um, chip out of the, the side there and at the bottom that I knew about. I'm aware of that. I think it's been dropped at some stage, but I couldn't really notice any other damage anywhere else from the photos but they had good photos of it oh and <laughs> at the back there it's got got some wear um, I'm totally fine with that um, and it did reflect in the price I got it for a good price for that reason um, so the aerodyne bases are pretty much like the the jazz fender jazz body um, but they do differ in that we've pretty much got the split single coil like the Fender P-Base would have. I don't know if I'm in the shot there, sorry. Um, and then we've got like a single coil Jazz Bass style pickup as well. Um, it's a very thin C-shaped neck, so um, it will play very fast and uh, be easy to play. And I sort of wanted something too that would just uh, sort of give me that option in the studio where you can move around quickly and uh, yeah. Wow, it's 
got some slap and some punch and everything you want. Very cool, very cool. I might just plug it in quickly and perhaps find a tuner. Look how good it looks, it just looks so good. So, love that. Love, love, love that. Get that cat strap on. <laughs> well, strap actually suits, I think. It's not quite cream like the binding, but um, pretty cool. So I think these were um, first introduced in 2003, too. And um, they're a bit lighter than your normal jazz basses and P basses because um, they use basswood, which I think is called basswood in some countries, but um, basswood, which is a little bit lighter, so it's not going to break the back. Man, this thing's cool. Alright, I'm going to plug in, turn the amp on, see what it sounds like. I think some of them change too, depending on the year. I don't know what year this is. Um, I'll have to work that out. But I think some had the uh, output jack on top, and some had like the strat style sort of, um, you know, sort of concaved into the body as well. So, but uh, I'm happy with that. And probably need a tuner, so it might just be a sec, and I'll be back. All right, we're back. Uh, just giving it a quick tune up and uh, plugged it in, turned the amp on. There is a little bit of noise from the amp. You'll probably hear it's just behind the camera. This is just the camera audio. I never get uh, fussy and uh, record things properly as I should, but <laughs> maybe one day I'll get around to doing stuff right. But today is not that day. Um, Later. Um, so I'm just going through an Ampeg SVT3 through uh, a Harkey uh, 4x10 cabinet which is just set up behind the camera so the, uh, it might be a bit noisy but I'll try and uh, adjust volumes. So basically we've just got um, uh, two pickup knobs and a, and a tone knob, so one for each pickup. crackle there that if we just keep working it out it'll probably clear itself up sometimes they just get dusty or a bit of grit and see so we've got rid of that already so that's a little trick for you if you've got scratchy pots just keep twirling them <laughs> it's usually just because they've sat in the same position for a while and you can usually work it out Starting to clean up now. Still a little bit there. That's nearly it. That's all right. I'll work work that out later. We'll get rid of that. And there's our tone, so you can sort of roll off some high end. But it's pretty spanky. It's uh, pretty nice. <laughs>
got spank. <laughs> it's just got spank. <laughs> Keeps coming back to me because it's um. <laughs> I haven't mucked around with EQ or anything on the amp, I've just left it all pretty flat and so that's just a pretty good gauge straight up of how the pickup sound. something a little bit different I think with the, the bass wood and um, the pickup configuration is a bit more versatile but um, keep coming back to that word gives you a bit more spank it's really bright but not in a no way in a tinny trebly annoying sort of way it's uh, just really smooth even even with that high clarity so um, Paces, but um, that'll be about it for today. Uh, I'm wrapped with it. It plays amazing, feels amazing, looks amazing. Uh, you really can't go wrong. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go with the business with this bass strapped on, baby. All right, cheers for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.